it's really sad. People are thanking the president that he decided not to take Kano and Plato Okonkwo. Lawyer and one of the members of the Labour Party, Kenneth Okonkwo, has stated that it's really very sad that people are now thanking the president that he decided not to take Kano and Plato State. He made a statement in a post that he shared on his ex ando formerly known as Twitter, on Sunday. It will be recorded that the Supreme Court delivered its final judgments on some governorship election cases on, on Friday. However, after the court section, some of the governors whose victory were reaffirmed by the court appreciated the president for not interfering in the judiciary process. Kenneth Okonkwo has now stated that it is wrong for people to be thanking President Bola Meitinubu for not thank for not taking Kano and Plato State. He said the act is an indictment of the judiciary as being in the pocket of the president. It is really very sad that people are thanking the president that he decided not to take Kano and Plato State. This is an indictment of the judiciary as being in the pocket of the president. This means that if the president had wanted to take Kano and Plato, he would have effortlessly directed the judiciary to decide in a, a particular manner, he wrote on his page. Herbert Waters, they understand the game. And that is why, you know, they are not thanking him. They were so afraid. You know, people are like, ah, is it what happened during 2023 presidential election tribunal case and the Supreme Court saga and all that? People were afraid. What of if it happened? What are they going to do? So you are blaming them not to thank him. See, if the president, or if, let me see, if APC administration wants to insist that APC won in those states, those states, they declared other political parties. There is nothing you can still do about it. Too. You know why? The judiciary is not independent, just like the INEC. The only when Nigerians will be free from this problem is when this judiciary being independent, the INEC being independent. If not, as far as they are not independent, the executive power will continue to interfere that is the truth. That is the truth. And you know the reason why uh, they have to let this go? People we are talking. You understand? They've seen that if they do anything <laughs> otherwise, the consequence not going to be here. Yeah. Be like, Nigerians were just waiting for the court, you know, mostly in Canon states. They were ready. Make we see what they want to do first. We will show them. You understand? So they've already seen the handwriting. They have to advise themselves. You understand? That is just what happened. If the, the APC have decided, oh, we won those states, nothing will happen. After all, nothing happened. When uh, President Vola Metunibu was announced the president, even when other political party feels and many other Nigerians felt that he did not really, you know, uh, win the election. He got anything to happen. He won in, in tribunal. He mm -hmm. also, the, the, the Supreme Court affirmed his, you know, his election uh, victory. He got anything to happen. He not going to stay happen. So not to blame those people when they, they thank him. Because what he just said, you have just said it. That the judiciary is in the pocket of Mr. President. If he decides to pocket them, he will pocket them. That is just what is happening in Nigeria. We need restructuring. This country needs to be restructured. That is the only way Nigerians will enjoy democracy. Like what we are doing now is not democracy. The election we are practicing now, this is not election. I don't even know why... They can't even they make courts. Now they can't they decide for Nigerians. It is not supposed to be so. 
let everything that happens in the pool end in the pooling unit. Yes. You think if the the INEC is doing well, matter go come cut. Why? Matter no go fit come cut. You understand? Or say somebody can't carry matter when I INEC don't ready, say that this person win. Somebody go and you know say you know win. Person can't carry matter come. They go change everything. Nigerians are so they are not afraid because they don't know what is going to be for them. Even for future elections, there is going to be a problem. So many persons will not come out to vote. It'll be like waiting and won't go vote for when we say when you don't vote finish and another person you go hear name. You understand? You go say now this person we vote for. But last last when you go see result and another person you go say. It can't be like voting is a waste. But I want to uh, encourage us. See, if we don't get it today, we go get it tomorrow. The system will be sensitized. You understand? And sanitized as well. They will sensitize those people when we say they, they don't know what it than they do. Somebody can just come, okay, ah, take this one, this, this and that. You feel say it don't finish. You understand? And when they don't, you know, go through this way, you will see that everything will become brand new. People will become to, be, in fact, people will, will begin to understand their left from their right. If not, how many are the politicians in Nigeria? How many are they? So, if these people are doing whatever they are doing, it's the same me and you that is helping them to get their way through. If not, they're not going to feel paid. True. That is the truth. Well, I'm driving into it, guys. Let's hear from you. What's your take on what Kenneth Okonkwo have just said?